the juggernaut that is the Gonzaga Eagles taking the ice. They have yet to lose the game here in their 2013-2014 season. Recent champions of the Purple Puck Tournament, they stand at 16-0-1 entering tonight's clash. That clash is with the Georgetown Prep Hoyas, who have taken the ice on their home ice at the Cabin John Ice Center. They enter at a much less complete 3-1, but as this is a rivalry game, throw out the records and let's get ready for some pucks. It's Gonzaga and Georgetown Prep. Eagles and Hoyas, let's do a live on DMV Street. Com. And good evening everybody and welcome in to tonight's broadcast here ringside to tell you the story. I'm Brian Gardner. As this, as I mentioned, this is a rivalry contest and as you can hear, it is loud here in Montgomery County, Rockville, Maryland and we are going to be at a full volume for the entirety of this broadcast. The Georgetown Prep Hoyas are the home team. They're dressed in their white home jerseys with that Hoya blue on the trim and the shorts and the letters as they take their warm-up shots to our right here at our broadcast location. For the uh, Gonzaga Eagles, they're the number one team in the All-Met all rankings, 16-0-1. And as I mentioned, Purple Puck champions. The Purple Puck is a tournament that they host. Actually, a national tournament. Teams coming in from all over the East Coast, mostly. They're, they actually knocked off a team from New Jersey in the final. The MVP of that tournament was their centerman, their captain. His name is Bobby Halley. Halley, 19 assists, 13, 19 goals, I beg your pardon, and 13 assists here in the early going, well, not so early going of this season, here in the early moments of this 2014, this year. He's the man who you're going to keep an eye on more than anybody else. They're backstop by Nick Tice. The netminder was outstanding, shutting out the, with a shutout in the championship game of the Purple Puck, stopping 28 shots. He is somebody to keep an eye on for tonight and see how well he's going to handle this Georgetown prep attack. Mention Bobby Halley. The senior does more than what he does on the ice. The captain has received the Kelleher Scholar Athlete Award for his work on and off the ice as he is established with community service. Halley started a tutoring and mentoring program called the Study Buddies with support from head coach Nate Jackson, Sister Seaton, and Gonzaga Comp Campus Ministry. The four-year member of the varsity is the guy who is our player to watch. He wears number eight. Keep an eye on him. On the other side for Georgetown Prep, Cole Taylor is a playmaking center. Also the captain, number 24 in white. He'll be going up against Halley quite a bit in this one. A guy who's really a pass first type will rack up the assist, makes things happen out there on the ice for the Little Hoyas. Well, thank you so much for tuning in for tonight's broadcast. Again, we're live from the Cabin John Ice Center in Montgomery County in Rockville, Maryland. If you're more than just a Gonzaga or a Georgetown fan, you're a hockey fan, take note, we'll be live from the Ashburn Ice House for Stonebridge and Broad Run on Sunday. That game will start at 8.10. DMVStream.com's got you covered for hockey and for so much else all throughout this weekend as we had a great high school hoops broadcast last night for Paul the Sixth and Bishop O'Connell. This is what, and we're here for you on DMVStream.com. DMVStream.com was founded by BJ Cooper, who was a longtime area sports personality with the ties of the Washington Post and many more media organizations. If you're interested in streaming your organization's upcoming games, tournament, or events, you can find out more and contact us at DMVStream.com. If you want to purchase a copy of this broadcast, the information will be right underneath where we are broadcasting from on this DMVStream.com page. 
you can uh, get it on DVD or download it directly to your computer. Now the crowd is loud as you can hear. Hopefully not straining myself too much to be heard as the five seconds left on the warm-up clock here at Cabin John. Not too far from where either of these high schools are located, Gonzaga and Georgetown Prep. Their fans are out here in massive numbers and they're making themselves heard here during warm-ups. We can only imagine what will happen when somebody lights the lamp for the first goal of this game. The goaltender matchup, I already mentioned Nick Platice on the other end for Georgetown Prep. Barry Lease will get his fifth start of the season. Number one, he's 3-1 and one with a 3.50 goals against average. An 800 save percentage. He's stretching right to the left of this huddle right in front of his goal to our right. We are located not far from where the penalty box is. Just to the right, in fact, with a slightly elevated look in the madhouse that is the uh, cabin at John Ice Center. As they break their warm-up huddle, Georgetown Prep skating over towards their bench. Gonzaga already there in the black jerseys with the purple G, the purple numbers, the purple helmet, black shorts with the purple trim. And the George and the those are the Gonzaga fans. I beg your pardon, making themselves heard with the Seven Nation Army chorus, so popular, all around sporting events everywhere. I should just let this noise speak for itself as we lead up into the puck drop here. Gonzaga out there on the ice. They'll start their top line of Bobby Halley, Connor Van Hoos, and Patrick Fergus. For Georgetown Prep, Cole Taylor, Max Newman, and Ryan Holman out there. At D, they have Lazar Zamorovic and Blaine Green. And for Gonzaga, Halley is set to take the draw against Cole Taylor. The puck is down and we are underway from Cabin John. Streaking down the right wing on a one-time opportunity. Unable to bury it was Van Hoos. The rebound put right into the pads of, of Barry Leeson. We are underway here. Just 10 seconds in. We'll get our first stoppage of play here in this one. Face off to the blocker side of Lease. It's won by the Eagles. Played it on the near side. Boards a big check put onto the D-man who sent it in being Barlow Sanders. Tied up on the far side.